Yes. Humble beginnings become great happenings. What you are today can never determine what you'll be tomorrow. When I was growing up, something happened. They chased me out of class and said, go back home and make sure tomorrow come back with decent shoes. I used to put on shoes called Dallons. Dallons are plastic shoes with holes on the side. But somehow, the plastic that holds the holes had sort of broken. And so they were gaping like crocodiles. So the teacher told me, go back home and make sure tomorrow come back with good shoes. So I went back home and told mommy, you know what? They have asked me to go back with good shoes. And mommy said, don't worry, my son. Tomorrow you will be in class. So she asked me to help her overturn the house, left, right, center, and look for money. So we looked for coins everywhere, and we found nothing. We looked now, we started thinking at plan B. Plan B was to take the shoes to a cobbler. But now, the cobbler was three kilometers away from home. So she said, as a woman, you must be in class. So let me think about something else. I saw her getting lost in thoughts, and I said, I'm going to sew these shoes myself. Let me turn into the cobbler. And so we are praying to God that we get bl black threads, and a needle. Somehow the Lord provided white threads. The dallons were black. I said, fine. So she sewed the shoes, put them together. I went to school the following day. Everybody was looking at these <laughs> shoes and they're thinking, me, I'm thinking these are designer shoes. <laughs> and so I comfortably went through that and then it dawned to me, Humble beginnings become great. I'm putting on leather shoes now. <laughs> then I go to school, a different school in my secondary level, and every time they would come to visit me, they would come with everything of mine in a polythene bag, and they would swing it. Eh? Just because, and you know, they would buy meat or chicken next to the visitation day. Why? Because they had to eat some and keep some for me as they come to school. And so they would come and I would sit so happy and invite my friends and would eat all that food and be happy. But a friend of mine, the father owns one of the radio stations in Kampala, two cars would come visiting this guy. One car full of people, the other car with a mini supermarket. <laughs> and so they would stock the matron's house with quencha, milk, Apples, name it. On this fateful day, they didn't bring chocolate. Now the kids started crying, Mommy, you no longer love me. How come you've not brought chocolates? And all this, some of us were watching a movie. <laughs> I had never eaten chocolate. The first time I ate an apple was in, at university first year. <laughs> all I knew was A for apple. <laughs> My God. So, and when they would come out, they would kiss the boy, mwah, mwah, hug the boy. For us, we are watching a movie. The first time my father hugged me was at my graduation day, three years after campus. And you know, he even did hold me tight. He said, son, <laughs> congratulations. I said, wow. Then I remembered, humble beginnings become great things. What you are to I never determine what you'll be tomorrow. I go to campus. I wanted to be a lawyer. I missed law by very many points. <laughs> and then, they gave me this course called Bachelor of Arts in Arts. And then, when I joined campus, BAA, abbreviated that way, was called Bachelor of Being Around Around. <laughs> MDD was called Music, Dance, and Drama, translated as Musiru Dala Dala. In English, you are stupid squared. So I said, okay, if I have BAA, this Bachelor of B 
being around around. I promise I'll be around around in everybody's life. I am around in your life today. <laughs> then I remembered humble beginnings become great things. What you are today can never determine what you'll be tomorrow. Then I go to the field. I start major communications. My, friend called, my friends called me major because major communications is a company that has taken me far and wide. I flashed back. I remembered Martin uh, Abraham Lincoln when he was standing at the seashore. He saw a Negro man being separated from his wife. He clenched his fist so hard until his palms bore blood. He looked at his friend and said, one day I'll stop slave trade in the United States. For several times he stood as president of the United States and failed. The 13th time he made it. One year in office he signed a declaration that stopped slave trade in the United States. Friends, humble beginnings become great things. What you are today can never determine what you'll be tomorrow. I've always remembered a Nigerian quote that says, if you sit close to a beautiful girl and don't say anything, you may end up fetching water on her wedding day. <laughs> then I said, every opportunity I get, every opportunity I get, I will use it with my ability. Ladies and gentlemen, when Mandela was taken to prison and he said no torture, no isolation, no suffering would kill my dream. Even after 27 years, he came out as the democratically elected president of South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, what is too hard for you? There's no valley too deep to reach. There's no mountain too high to climb. You can turn your dream into a cream. Your tests can become testimonies. Your mess can become a message. Ladies and gentlemen, always remember, humble beginnings become great things. What you are today can never determine what you'll be tomorrow. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.